really going to miss you guys. And thanks to you, Tyler. That was super good. I didn't, you, I didn't know you could rhyme like that. You're like Dr. Seuss, but you're still alive. So that's why we like you. You're so when it comes to graduation speeches, you always expect to hear something awesome, something that will inspire you for the rest of your lives. The burden we have failed to come up with something spectacular has been heavy. We've exhausted our brains just thinking of some advice we could give to the class of 2014. But eventually, inspiration did come to us, and I'm very happy to let you all know that after countless minutes and minutes, we came up with something very inspiring. So get ready to hear the words of advice that will carry through you through the rest of your life. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Get ready. Bring up and see. Okay, here it comes. Always keep your chin up. Yeah! Get it! I hope everyone has learned something from this statement and that you will be able to take it home with you. And I hope that everyone can travel home safely. And that's all the advice we have to give. The rest of the speech is pretty much just a waste of time. No, no, no. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pay attention. Oh, it's all, sorry. We'll go on. Hey, thanks, Carl. So we've been in this high school for three, year now, three years now, and we've learned so much, but there's so much we still don't know. And I have a lot of questions. Carl has a lot of questions. I'm sure you guys do. So we're going to try and answer some right now. Yeah, like, why are there no mirrors in the boys' bathroom? <laughs> this is really messed up. I think about this every day. So, did you know every single bathroom, every single girl's bathroom has a mirror in it in our high school? There is not a single boys' bathroom in the high school with a mirror. We're all living like cavemen. I haven't seen my reflection for like three years. <laughs> this really is terrible. Yeah, I have a question for you, Carl. Do leggings count as pants? Yes. Yes. <laughs> leggings are pants. It's just been decided. <laughs> okay. And as always, we gotta talk about Mr. Heath. I don't know where he is, but he's the man. But Mr. Heath, he's a great guy, he's a great teacher, but the next question is, is it appropriate for a science teacher to swing on a wrecking ball shirtless? Mm. Yeah, this is a hard one. I've had to think about this one a lot. Um, no, no, it's not. I don't think it is. Well, you know, like, he's an adult, and maybe it's natural for him, so I say we let it go. If that's what he wants, let him do it. Okay, now my question is, why does Officer Mold get to park on the cement right in front of the school? Okay, <laughs> that one's hard, but I love Officer Mold. Officer Mold, he's a great guy, but for the rest of us, we have to walk like 200 miles a day just to get to the high school. And in the winter time, by the time you get to the high school, everyone has like frostbite and jaundice, we're all dying. And Officer Mold, when he pulls into the school, he opens his door and he's inside the building. It's pretty messed up. Like, I think we should get to do that, too. If my first hour is P.E., I should be able to park my car right in the gym. <laughs> okay, for my next question, what exactly is the attendance policy? Ooh. I don't think anyone knows. I don't think anyone does. I'm going to try and take a guess at it, but I think it's like ancient Hebrew or something, and it got translated weird. But, like, on a crescent moon, if you've had one excused absence, then the administration slashes your tires. If it's two unexcused absences, and it's on Canadian sundown, you get death by fire. And if it's three unexcused absences, then you get a Saturday school. Okay, now I have a serious question for you. Are Saturday schools really a punishment? No. But let me tell you why, though. Okay. First off, on Saturdays, I usually sleep till noon anyways, so... I actually get something done with my day. So you get there at like 8 o'clock, you walk inside, and all your friends are there. And they're all talking, Miss Molden's there, and she, sometimes she brings her friends, but they have guns. So I don't know if that's funny, but, but they bring toys, and we just sit and read. It's like Grandma's house, but better. Just like Anna Montana said, it really is the best of both worlds. Jeez. So Carl, would you recommend Saturday school to people? I would recommend Saturday school to everyone. Alright, we're not taking any more questions. That wasn't helpful at all. Yeah, sorry man, that really wasn't. I guess there's just a lot of questions we'll really never know the answer to. But I was thinking, before we graduate, wouldn't it be fun to just take like one last trip down memory lane? I don't want to take a trip down memory lane. Well, we're going to do it anyway. Do you remember kindergarten? Kindergarten? No. Yeah, that's...
I remember kindergarten, it was good. It was actually kind of a messed up time though. In kindergarten we were so cute and so little, but we didn't know anything. We didn't know how to read the clock or how to tie our shoes so that they could stay tied. Oh, I remember kindergarten now. Yeah, we were pretty stupid in kindergarten, but now we know everything because we're seniors. <laughs> Remember Scholastic Book Orders? I loved it when my mom ordered Scholastic Books. The book orders were awesome. It took like seven months for the books to come in, but when it did, it felt like Christmas. Yeah, it took way too long. They gotta fix that system. I ordered some books in first grade, and I just barely got them yesterday. <laughs> Alright, speaking of book orders, I ordered a Dr. Seuss book once. Do you know what it said? Yeah, tell me, man. What's it? Alright, this is what it said. <clears throat> You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. <laughs> really sad. Can you clean next? No, cranks for babies. <laughs> Are you sure? Get out of here! <laughs> that was really cute. Alright. Well, Carl, here we are. It's been 19 hours of school. Plus 19,000 hours of school, plus Saturday school, and community service. And you know what, guys? You've really earned this. We've done so many assignments in school, so many meaningless ones, and now about we're going to get that paper that says we're good enough. So good work, seniors. Yep.